Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make an overhead GUI for your uh, Roblox game. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to create a part in our workspace. Just because it's easier to um, create the GUI on a part and then uh, clone it and put it onto the player. Rather than doing it all through script, it's just a lot easier. So under our part, I'm going to add, we're going to want a billboard GUI. And in this billboard view, I want to add a text label. So now you'll see we've got this text label thing that kind of appears. Now, let me start with the billboard GUI. First of all, what we want to do is, we can play around with the max distance. I'm going to set that at maybe 50. So when we're 50 studs away, you'll see it disappears. I might actually set that to be even more, I don't know. Maybe 100. Light influence we want a zero, that means it doesn't get dark at all, no matter how, you know, where you are, it'll stay the same uh, brightness. Okay, and now what we want to do is create an offset, so let's uh, extend, so what we want is um, studs offset, and we can set that to zero, maybe two zero, and you'll see it's above the part. Now we want to stop it changing from size, we can zoom in and out. So to do that, under our size, we want to essentially change it from offset to scale. Now I'm going to this. This might this probably takes a little bit of playing to get it right. I'm going to set that as five zero, and on the Y, I'm going to set it zero point five uh, zero. Okay, I might make that zero point. Uh, maybe make that one on the um, offset, like so. There we go. Now you'll see we've got this blue box, this is um, the size of our uh, billboard GUI. Now let's go under the text label and play around with that. So we want to make the size 1010, so it fills the entire billboard GUI. And we want to maybe make the background transparency 1. And kind of play around a bit here. So I'm going to make this label say, for example, developer. Now actually I'm just going to make this say role and make it whatever colour you want, just design it however you'd like, so I might make this a bit yellow, um, scale it up, give it a text stroke, okay, and once we've designed it how we want it to be, I'm going to grab the billboard GUI and put it in replicated storage, and then delete this part. Now under server script service, I'm going to create a new script, and I'm going to call it uh, overhead or something like that, this is where we're going to manage it. So what we want to do is when the character, whenever the player's character loads in, we want to put this above their head. So to do that, we say game dot players dot player added colon connect function player, and then we need to say player dot character added colon connect function and then character. So that's called whenever the character loads in. Now what we need to do is say local uh, GUI equals game dot replicate storage dot billboard GUI colon clone and then we need to set GUI dot parent to the character dot head because under the character you have a head and that's where we want it and now what you'll see is if I hit play you see when I join in I get this roll above my head and that will be the same for every now what we want to do is change the text don't we so let's say if the user's name is my name, I want the text to change to developer. So if I say if um, if player dot name equals say and then my username, then I want gui dot uh, text label dot text to be equal to developer. So now when we hit play. The text of my head should say developer. And it does, developer. Perfect. And you can do this for as many people as you want. If, let's say, it said player one, because in a minute I'm going to test it on multiple accounts. If it's player one, then we'll set it to tester. And if it's player two, then we'll set it to, let's call it, um, member or something like that. Just anything to get different names. Now if we test this in a local server with two players, you'll see player 1, it should say tester, player 2, it should say member. So the server will load up here, now we'll get the clients load up. Oh, okay, sorry, that's my fault. The, um, the players shouldn't have a space in between their name. 
Uh, sorry, let me go over. It's in here, so it should just be player two, player one, without the spaces. So now, if we test it on a server, player one should have um, tester, player two should have member. So there we are, it's loading up. They've both loaded, here we go. So we've got, I think this is going to be player one. So tester and member. And as you can see, it works, there we go. And we can, so I can see their uh, role, it's kind of in the way of their name, but. What you can do, you can change the offset um, of the actual thing to be above the name. And that works. Awesome. And of course, you could do this for anything. You can make it so when a player joins a group, it will add it. So, for example, if you said, if player colon is in group, and then link the group ID. So maybe, you know, that for a group ID. Then we could say GUI dot text label dot text equals member if they if they're in the group you could do it for anything and that's all i really wanted to show you today that's as simple as it is so yeah i hope you found this video helpful everyone and if you did make sure to leave a like and uh, i'll see you in the next one goodbye